Hello buddy, my name is Kai Yuan. Today I'm going to share with guys my thoughts, what I like and what I don't like about this motorized slider from YC Onion. First, what I like about this hot dog slider, because it's so cheap and it's a motorized slider, it can move by itself. And it's also a manual slider, you just take away the motor and it's a manual slider. Next, what I like about this hot dog slider, because it has an auto pan function. So you can decide you want to pan left, pan right, and a pan speed by tweaking the two knobs at the end of the slider. So right now this is tracking mode, so this light is always facing me. And then this light will turn into panorama mode and just change the pan direction. Next, this slider is just so lightweight. This is 120 centimeters and it just weighs around two kilograms. What? I think this is the lightest motorized slider on the market right now. But why it's so lightweight? Because carbon fiber in this price point, this is just unbelievable. And this slider also comes with a huge carrying bag, so you don't even need to disassemble the motors or the top plate. You just slap in this bag and you are good to go. If you want to adjust anything on this slider, it's a tool this process. For example, if you are going to turn this motorized slider into a manual slider, losing every knob and take away the motorized module, but all the knobs on this slider are kind of small, so it's a little bit harder to tighten or loosen the knob on this slider. Next, low angle leveling foot is just awesome. Awesome. Leveling foot have a safety design. This design will prevent your camera to fall on the floor if you didn't turn your knob tight enough. Next, what I like about this slider? This motor is just so efficient. So you just put on a 7 series MPF battery, you can run it all day. All day? Maybe 10 hours. The last thing I like about this slider is the little rubber cushion to prevent your slider to hit the hard material and ruin your slider. Some slider doesn't even have that rubber cushion, so you just smash into the hard material, you ruin your shot and ruin your slider. Yep, so it's time to share about what I don't like about this hot dog slider. First, this slider is so loud. It's that loud, so if you are going to record audio, just don't buy this motorized slider. It's also so loud in manual mode. The torque in low speed mode is just not enough. Right now, it's 30% speed. But if you go under 30%, you gotta take some risk. It may just stop in the middle of your shot and you just ruined your shot. Even in this horizon mode, if you level up this slider, you maybe got to set the speed to 100%. Next, the battery doesn't even have a lock-in system, so if you accidentally push it, the battery will just fly out. So you gotta use gaff tape every time you put on a new battery. Next, lock-in system on this slider is just so bad. Even you tied it so tight, camera on there will still have room to play. The auto pin bar in the middle is a little bit bouncy, so if you are going to use this slider as a manual slider and you use a higher drag on your fluid head in the end of every pin it will bounce back a little bit and just kind of ruin your shot next if you're going to shoot video and you're going to use loop mode just don't buy this motorized slider in the app we have a buffer mode it's for a slowly speed up and you have a smooth start but in the end of a or b it will just stop immediately and just ruin your shot no matter how good your tripod is, even in low angle mode, you just use this slider by itself, it will still shake every time it reaches the end. Boom. The slider app is just so bad. Every time you disconnect, the slider will just keep going. But if you reconnect, the slider will just stop immediately. What the? This is just not a good design because it should keep going before I press stop but every time I reconnect, it just stop by itself. It just ruins your shot. So this slider can set your custom A, B point. So if you're just gonna use half of the slider, you can set the B point over here. But if you're gonna use the full length of the slider, you gotta press your app and wait. Just wait until it go to the end of the slider. This is such a waste of time because after I set the A point, the slider should know, oh, this is 120 centimeters, so B point is over there. But this app doesn't even have a preset, so such a waste of time. Next, the mounting holes is just not enough because some tripod or monopod, the head is a little bit too big. So after I put on the motor module, there's no way to make this slider more secure because I just can't use a little light stand. The last one, what I don't like about this slider 
it's the time lapse function in the app because it's just ridiculous. For example, if I want 300 photos and I want it to go from A to B, and after 250 photos, it's already at B. What the? What happened to the time lapse calculator? It's just ridiculous, man. <laughs> yep, so you already know, I don't recommend this YC Onion hot dog slider. YC Onion is a cool company. They have awesome ideas. They combine the DJI gimbals and other gimbals and the slider controls into a single app. That's genius, but their products is just not good. So first, I hope YC Onion can keep improving the app and make the app more stable and also that boom. Second, I hope YC Onion can make a quieter motor because this is a module design. I just throw away the old motors and slap the new motors on. Okay, so this is end of this what I like and what I don't like about this hot dog slider video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.